This is Megan, a student of uh, uh, the Univers University of Portland, and I understand you've already voted. I have. You have? You don't have to tell us who you voted for, no. but if your candidate does win, what would you like to see him do? Uh, uh, you can get specific and you don't have to... <laughs> it's, I know it's over, overwhelming because there's so much to do. There is a lot you've to do. You've got the economy, the war. Um, as a nursing student, I want to see a lot of improvement in healthcare. That's a good so one. So that's big for me. And then I have some people that are abroad right now at, uh, fighting for us. So I'd like to bring them home or keep them as safe as possible. Uh huh. And I don't know. There's so much, but those are two that are very important to me. How in, how involved uh, uh, with the healthcare system, or what do you think the healthcare system should actually look like in the future? Um, I like the idea of much cheaper uh, drugs and uh, health care benefits and stuff and just taking care of patients and stuff. It needs procedures. Everything is way overpriced and we need to try. It's gone through the roof and it's unreasonable. We need to try and bring it down somehow. Yeah, it would be a silly question to ask you how we're going to do it. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> that's, him. that's for him to figure out. I don't know. I mean, I, I have no idea how to mm -hmm. even begin. I just, right. I hope and I'll do whatever I can to help out, but I don't know. What particular field of nursing are you going to go into? Um, I would like to go into pediatrics or neonatal maybe, mm -hmm. but I know there's um, a lot of need in geriatrics with the aging baby boomers, so that as well. Which includes me. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there for you. <laughs> Got your back. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay, you had said that some of your friends were over there in in Iraq fighting the war. Mm -hmm. uh, do you hear from them, and what sort of uh, response do they get to your questions? Um, I hear from them off and on, mostly through their families, kind of indirectly. Mm -hmm. um, but they, you know, the stories are totally different from what the media is giving us, and it makes it really hard to know what to believe. So. I try to, you know, be on their side and support them and stuff, and but I'd prefer them to be home, of course. Absolutely, and it's sort of funny that uh, one candidate w uh, would actually say that another candidate does not support the troops. I can't think of anyone mm -mm. in the states who does not support the troops. Yeah, supporting the troops is out of the question. It's the war, or whether like the morals and the ideas of being there. That's the problem. Exactly. Exactly. So. I wish your friends well. Thank you. I wish you well. Thank you. And learn fast so you can take care of me in my <laughs> older age. No problem. I'll do that for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Hi, and your name is Madeline? Madeline. Nice to meet you. Nice pleasure to meet you. And you're saying that you're an economics major? I'm a global business major with a finance emphasis and a minor in math. Which is fantastic, mm -hmm. which could lead me into numerous avenues of questions as our economy. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Well, it's definitely, I'm taking a finance class right now called Financial Markets and Institutions, and um, it's definitely a historical moment. Um, my professor is saying, you have to know this, you have to know this. This is probably the most important thing. This doesn't come around every o very often, so um, it's really, really interesting, and I'm really glad that I'm learning about it right now in such a changing environment. Uh -huh. I mean, the rules are being rewritten right now, and so it's really interesting. Um, but obviously the economy is hurting a little bit right now, and um, I'm excited to see what can happen, but I'm also nervous, like everyone else, um, for the faith re being restored in the economy and banks lending again and all this kind of stuff. So um, it's really interesting to, to read about it and see the effects exactly um, as they come. Yeah, so uh, your studies, global, your global studies, uh -huh. uh, what field do you want to go into? I'm not exactly sure right now. Um, I picked global business because it is so variable and I can take it in all sorts of different avenues. Banking? Banking, perhaps. Um, with the investment, um, with the financial um, emphasis, excuse me, then I'm definitely considering some finance firms um, either in Seattle or in Portland or, I mean, kind of wherever. I'd, I'd like to go in that direction, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh -huh. So I have lots of options. Yeah. Well, hopefully by the time you get out of school, uh, the financial institutions will be a little cleaned up, mm -hmm. as they say, because they've created quite a problem for us. Yeah. Economically, it, because of the housing and all of the uh, schemes and backdoor operations that I think have taken place. Yeah, it's definitely um, not the greatest time to be graduating college and looking for a job. 
Um, so I'm considering traveling a little bit more and a lot of students I think are considering um, furthering their education going straight to grad school in this kind of an economy. Um, but it is one of the best times to be a student. So, I mean, the last couple of years, especially for freshmen starting out right now. Uh, have you already voted? I, um, yes, I have. In Washington, great. I sent in my ballot when I was home a couple weekends ago. Oh, wonderful. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Um, where can I take this, Madeline? Um, well, uh, I'm really excited to see what the election results are. I mean, I kind of have a feel or what I would hope to come to, come to terms um, next next Tuesday, but it, it's going to be a pivotal moment for our country where um, we either see um, how the last eight years and the deregulation of the 90s, how it plays out if we keep going on that path or if we start to change and kind of think of a new, a new path to go down. And so it's a very pivotal point and I'm really excited about it, but like I said, I'm nervous about it yeah. as well. Well, I think you've got a great attitude. Uh, I think you're going to be a plus for whoever hires you. <laughs> well, I'd hire you, hear. actually. Thank you. Um, yeah, and uh, the best of luck. Thank you. And thank you. Yeah, thanks. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. Wonderful. So, uh, what is your name, by the way? Uh, ben. Ben, how are you? Good. Okay. Um, come next Tuesday after the election, if your man wins, who, uh, excuse me, but what would you like to see happen? Well, uh, my candidate is Barack Obama, and um, I'm hoping that um, given maybe his ability to uh, bring people together, um, possibly he would have a, uh, a large Democratic majority in the Senate. That would be exciting for me. Um, I'm hoping that he can, first of all, probably turn the economy around um, since I'm graduating and and you a need a job. Months, I will need a job. Um, <laughs> okay. I will be going off my parents' health care. I will have student loans to pay. And uh, right now, that's probably the most important issue for me. Yeah, just uh, getting gainful employment after you graduate. Uh, uh, which field are you in, by the way? Um, well, I'm studying political science, so I'm looking to go to law school. Oh, so this is a perfect venue for you. Yeah, here. yeah. You can spout if you like. You can in interview for your prospective employer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoever well, that may be. I'll be out there on the bread lines um, if McCain wins, but uh, otherwise uh, I hope to be working for you someday. Great. Um, okay, speaking of the economy, how do you feel that our financial institutions have let us down? Do you think they have let us down? I mean, it, it's a pretty large hole that they've created. Well, it definitely seems that way right now. I mean, I'm, I'm not uh, too great on the financial issues, but... Um, from what I've seen over the past few weeks, um, we've basically seen this entire, you know, overextension of our financial um, financial abilities. Um, everyone's pretty much saying that this is largely due to greed. Both candidates are, seem to be saying that. Um, but um, I, I think that what's probably occurred is we've had this massive deregulation again and again, and we keep falling into these cycles of, of um, you know. Um, fear with our financial markets and then you know things calm down and we go back to deregulating and you know the markets the, the be, all, be all end all it's it will save us um, but I think maybe we're starting to see that that ideology isn't isn't quite correct so uh, do you have any sense of what the future may change how or how the future is going to change in, um, in that sense I mean it's pretty hard I, I mean it's a really hard question to ask because it's just a hard question period right. but uh, um, if something were to change, how would you like to see that change that you were just speaking about? I mean, if we failed in this uh, sort of venue, how would you, where would you like to see it go? Um, well, you know, I guess, I guess with uh, what we're facing, there really isn't going to be any quick fix. Um, I, I don't think that um, even if Barack Obama wins, who I'm supporting, that he'll be able to turn the economy around like I was kind of talking about earlier. Impossible. Um, but... Um, I would like to have um, a leader that I can put trust in to, um, to put these kind of regulations um, for our financial markets, um, not just during times of economic crisis, but, um, but consistently so that we can actually trust these institutions to be acting responsibly. Um, of course we believe in the free market, or at least I do, um, but this kind of unfettered capitalism is, is uh, hopefully going to become um, a thing of the past. Great. All right. Thank you. Yeah.
And are you two from the area? Uh, I'm from Portland, yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, like you said, you've already voted. Mm -hmm. All right. And you? Um, I'm from Arizona, actually. So. <laughs> did you have any problem? Did you vote here in Portland or did you vote in from Arizona? I voted in from Arizona. In so. from Arizona. Oh, absentee ballot. Absentee ballot. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Um, if your candidate, whoever that may be, uh, wins, mm -hmm. um, what do you expect of his? Uh, what do you expect of his winning? I mean, what do you expect him to do for you? Say, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the economy, healthcare, the war. Um, I really expect him to make big changes. Um, I expect a lot of new ideas coming in, um, a lot of out with the old and with the new. Um, I personally voted for Obama, and so I'm expecting his his age and his tenacity to really change what's going on in our White House and what's going on. Uh, especially with how we, we view the rest of the world. Um, I'm expecting him to, to bring in a lot of new ideas, such as green technologies, um, which I think can, can foster a lot of jobs in this country, which can boost our economy. And um, personally, I think he has the best options of getting us out of Iraq right now. Great. And how about you? Uh, cool. Well, now that Charlie stops, I don't know really what to say. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I also personally voted for Obama, and it would be really great to see the war end, or at least start moving troops out of Iraq and help out with the economy and stuff. I can't say much after him, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is your major, by the way? Um, environmental science. Environmental science, which mm -hmm. is going to be a great field for you in the future. I'm hoping. <laughs> considering that every everybody's talking green and mm -hmm. whatever else. Uh, is there any pat particular segment? Are you en engineering? Um, I'm just a coverall right now. I plan to go to uh, either Lewis and Clark or University of Oregon Law School and become an environmental lawyer in the future. Fantastic. Another Ralph Nader? Um, maybe. <laughs> As if I don't plan on running for the president a bunch of times. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Um, let's see. So you've already voted. Uh-huh. Absentee from Washington State, like yes. you said. Democrat. 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 Okay. And uh, Obama. Yes, okay. <laughs> very much so. If, if Obama does win, which uh, I guess we're all hoping or not, we're all hoping, but uh, what, what do you expect him, what do you expect of him? I think you know pertaining to the economy or in general or we're, we're in general correct I'll, I'll say more in general because I have a lot of high hopes and not only that but I have a lot of faith in him I think not only in terms of foreign policy what well, I think he will be able to reverse the image of the United States as to what it's become the last eight years but because of that I think that he will be able to turn economy around because he will be able to unite countries together especially for work first world countries that are all struggling with the, with the, their economic situations right now. And so, in general, I'm, I basically believe that uh, Barack Obama will certainly be able to change the image of the United States um, in the economic perspective, but also in foreign policy perspective. And I know that a lot of people criticize him for being a junior politician, but we have already seen that even top Republicans have turned against McCain because they feel more, they have more faith in the kind of image that Barack Obama will give the United States. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I have full faith in Barack Obama, and especially in terms of the economy, as you asked me. Um, I definitely think that he will be able to change things around, and especially if you saw in the debates, he has, you know, he has milestones, he has points that, and goals that he wants the country to reach you know at certain years whereas I felt like McCain especially during the debate he kind of went around in circles and I thought that there was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, speech colloquial jargon just not right to the point he didn't tell the American people what we Your wanted standard to hear. basic uh, politician uh, politician correct. he didn't tell us he I, I remember especially in the last debate Barack Obama looked in the camera and told the American people exactly what he plans to do and whether that his plans work or not, the fact that he's telling me, okay, this is what I promise you I will try to do, that makes me feel like I, that I should instill more faith in him, that ignites a higher sense of faith than McCain, because I feel like McCain is more caught up in Barack Obama's past um, relationships with people that well, have Well, Obama's been, looking toward the future, whereas right. McCain's just digging up the old uh, uh, right. um, 
Right, right. And so, um, yeah, I have full faith in Barack Obama. And What's your major? Uh, global Business and French Studies. Global Business and French Studies. Yeah, as double major. As double major. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. What do you think of the UN, real quick? What do I think of the UN? Um, I think that it's, I think the UN is a, a good institution, simply put. Uh, it's definitely uh, got a great image, but I think that's the problem, is that it's only about image. Um, they'll renounce acts of genocide, they'll renounce um, civil wars going on in Africa, but yet they don't influence, they don't use the, their power to influence first world countries that are able to do something. They don't in, use their power to it, influence them, basically. So they can renounce and give a, a public statement about how they feel about something, but how about actually doing something? Fantastic. So um, I think for looks um, and for in uniting the world, yes, it's a good forum because they do bring people together, literally, you know, in one building. But as far as actually getting the world together to do something, that's a little bit more questionable. So, good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs>this is Olga and Olga is from the Ukraine mm -hmm. how wonderful how long have you been here I've been here since I was three years old oh so, so you're you're an Americanized yes very Ukrainian, much so just like I'm an Americanized Italian mm -hmm. okay so considering uh, um, that the election is gone and your candidate has won what do you expect of the winner uh, the winner should be able to basically provide us a plan to like get out of our economic deficit. Um, and that's that right now we're not exactly going through the most uh, spectacular economic times, and mm -hmm. it seems as though um, the president needs to address that. It's probably the most important issue I think right now. For uh, considering our that you're a student, mm -hmm. uh, are you? What year are you in? Me, I'm a freshman actually. Oh, freshman. So, yeah. so you've just come in. So mm -hmm. you've got a couple more years, and yes. possibly after that time. The job market will look a little bit better yeah, to you? I hope so. I'm crossing my fingers, but you never know. We'll see uh -huh, what happens. Uh -huh. so, yeah. uh, are you a, a Portland native or do you live in Portland? No, I'm from Seattle, actually. Seattle, mm -hmm. okay. okay. Seattle area. So, yeah. yeah. And you voted back uh, through absentee ballot? Yes, I did. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Uh, other than the, the economy, what, uh, what do you feel would be uh, another subject that you would like to see uh, addressed say health possibly the war definitely any yeah health is kind of a big thing um i think that you know a lot more attention needs to be paid to, like to people who don't have health insurance i think that's kind of a big thing and also the war um i think we need to have a better plan as far as like either staying there or pulling out yeah we need any way that anybody like wants to look at it we just need a better plan because we don't seem to have a very structured like you know outlook on it so yeah great mm -hmm. Olga thank you very yeah. much all right so the election's over and hopefully your man has won and Obama 08 so that's great <laughs> very exciting what do you expect from him so he, he wins an election I mean what does it mean to you that he's won an election exactly what he says within his campaign is change change I want extremely everything different from the past eight years. Um, I think the United States head down an extremely wrong path the past eight years, and I want to head the nation in a completely different direction. Um, especially economically with the crisis at hand, um, foreign policy especially, I think the way that we've conducted our country um, globally is, I don't approve of it, I don't like it. Um, I hopefully, I'd like to see be pulled out of Iraq and, um, change whole spin 180 completely different and you basically basically the same thing um the two biggest issues for me are the economy and the iraq war and i think we do need to pull out but in the right manner and i think he's set up the right way to do that what sort of team do you think he's going to pull together because he, he he's just an elected official you still need a whole body of mm -hmm. minds to make it all work and you need a populace that will accept what he has to say and hopefully follow in some sort of suit. Do you not concur? I do. I think he's already sort of proven that he can draw from different social classes and from different um, races and from different, from all different bodies of peoples in terms of who supports him and especially the different 
endorsements that he's gained right. have that's shown, special. yeah, has shown a lot that he has different support from all aspects. He appeals to a Broad wide base. range of yeah. people, which I think is extremely important today. And uh, what are your studies in, by the way? I'm sorry? Your studies. Oh, I'm an environmental science and political science major. Political science and business. And business. Mm -hmm. The economy. Yeah. Kind of important to you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very. You Am I going to have a job in four years? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I graduate this year. <laughs> Six months, am I going to have a job? <laughs> big problem. Big problems, big problems. Mm -hmm. And you also mentioned the war. That's, uh, uh, that's a big contention with a lot of people, although it's it, sort of dropped from the radar because the economy yeah. now, everybody's pocketbook really means something to them. Mm -hmm. But it's fueling the economy. Our deficit is so, it, it's, out, it's outrageous. The, the, <laughs> I mean, it's pulling directly from the war. I think that stems yeah. a lot of our problems today, especially economically. And I just flabbergasts me, the state, the sta I mean, not only in the United States though, I guess it's the entire world, but I think that we're leading this, the, you know, the downward spiral. Yeah, with our, uh, I, I guess, our brain trust in the financial sector for the past, what, six years? At least, yes. And were they connected <laughs> with with the uh, uh, the regime that has uh, been there for the past six years? I mean, who knows if there's any kind of connection? Is it a master plan, a grand right. plan? Who knows? I, I don't know. But all I know is that a lot of people are hurting, and hopefully, you know, that change that's talked about will come true. By either party. I mean, of course I want to see my man win, but even if <laughs> Mc McCain does yeah. be elected, I just hope that something changes very, very soon. November 5th, change begins. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Great. Appreciate it. Thank you yeah. so Good much. Luck. I appreciate Thank you. it. <laughs> Good luck to Thank you. Thank you so much. Casey, um, a philosophy major. Yeah. Psych. A psych. Well. <laughs> okay. Um, your candidate, if he wins, what do you think he can do to better your living situations? My living situations? Well, as a student... Um, no, beyond the student, I mean uh, uh, the economy, how you feel about medicine, you're going into the medical profession, correct? Um, yeah, could be. Could be. Well, yeah. it basically um, it is to a point. Well, I'm a Obama supporter. And um, I think overall, the state of the economy right now, not one individual is going to make a huge Correct. difference. So Correct. as far as the state of the economy, listening to the debates, I, I don't think the approaches they're going to take once they're actually in office, whether it's McCain or Obama, is going to really when it comes down to it, be that different. I mean, they're going to have to do what they have to do, whoever's in office. Correct, because we are a body. We are just not a person. Exactly. I, I think, you know, personally for me, I do see in Obama something new, something fresh, um, not the old staunchy politician as a, as a face of our government. But ultimately, it comes down to um, you got to work within the system. And so he's going to do what he has to do in terms of you know, listening to certain individuals who hold more cards. Right. That's a very practical uh, uh, way of looking at it because it's a realistic way. Like, uh, it's not just one head who will just dictate, but it's a body of uh, uh, minds that will hopefully sort of uh, broaden out and come up with a solution yeah. for Precisely. all of us. That's, Precisely. That's kind of how I feel. I think with, Mc with McCain and Obama, my personal opinion, and this is very personal opinion, but I think Obama will surround himself with the right people. Not that McCain wouldn't, but I just feel my intuition that Obama is more willing to listen to his advisors, whereas a person like McCain, who's been doing his thing for so long and has his opinions already set, is going to be less likely to listen to those qualified individuals he surrounds himself with in the way that, for me, I would want somebody to be more open-minded mm -hmm. to things. So, you know, with my hope is if Obama becomes president, he'll build a cabinet that's the fantastic top of the cream of the crop all around, and he will listen to them and try to make things happen. And, you know, like, I'm not saying I know more about anything than McCain or Obama, but I'm just hoping that whoever wins will, will take heed to the, the people who know the most. Okay. Uh, well, the, the, the question is actually, the election has been passed. We are past the election. 
uh, uh, this is post-election time. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything in particular that you would like to see happen with the winner in, in your field or within any topic that you care to discuss? Because... Like right off the bat? Sure, right off the uh, bat. Or, no, it could be down the line, whatever. What would you like to see uh, uh, best affect you from this election? The betterment of the world? Yeah, the I betterment mean, of the world. I, I personally want to get uh, get out of Iraq and the Middle East. Mm -hmm. um, I think we all do. We want to cut down on our dependence on foreign oils. And I'm big on you know going green. So. Um, getting serious about the green movement, trying to cut down on our dependence on oil overall. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see, you know, like maybe some some new modes of transportation because I think that there's the technology is out there to to get us out of you know cars and gas guzzling SUVs. It's just that nobody's we haven't gotten over that hump yet. Yeah, nobody stepped <laughs> on that pedal yet. Right. Exactly. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway, uh, speaking of that global thinking. Um, wouldn't it be wonderful if somehow the third world countries were the first ones to get that new type of technology? Because right now they are in the infancy, whereas we are so entrenched in our uh, form of environment. But yet theirs could be a clean slate. So if there is a new form of transportation, a new way of doing things, wouldn't it be great that if they would be the first ones to get it so that they could join us? that much more quickly? I think in an ideal world, yes, it would be great, but I think there's a lot of more pressing issues they have in, in third world countries. And I don't know specifically what third world countries we might be talking about, but you know, as in our Western culture and our privileged state in the United States, we tend to want to go help everybody and come in with an idea. We're going to give you X amount of dollars for well, this, but we don't necessarily know what exactly they need. So if it's transportation they need and a new mode of transportation, great. I hope they get it. But I, I want, I, I would ideally, balance. you know, what they really need in mm -hmm. terms of whatever aid they need. <laughs> That's well psych speak. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You were wonderful. Awesome. Okay. Have a great day. You too.